In this lesson, you'll learn how to evaluate or simplify expressions using order of operations. It's important that we use the correct order of operations to get the right answer. Parentheses tell you what to do first. After solving the expression inside the parentheses, it's important to look for multiplication or division operations. Multiplication and division don't follow any order and are solved left to right. After multiplication and division, we look for addition and subtraction operations. We solve addition and subtraction in order from left to right as well. Let's take a look at an example. When we have an expression like this, it's important to solve in the correct order. First, let's check to see if there are parentheses. There are. We should solve the expression inside the parentheses first. 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Let's rewrite our expression after solving 2 times 4. We haven't done anything with the 32 and the division sign, so our new simplified expression is 32 divided by 8. There is only one operation here. 32 divided by 8 is 4. Here is another example. Remember, when we have an expression like this, it's important to solve in the correct order. First, let's check to see if there are parentheses. There are two sets. First, we'll start with 53 minus 2. 53 minus 2 is equal to 51. Next, let's take a look at 4 times 10, since it's also in parentheses. 4 times 10 is 40. Now our simplified expression looks like this. 51 minus 40 plus 5. Now let's check what we solve next. We already solved the expressions inside the parentheses. There are no multiplication or division signs, so we can move to addition and subtraction. Remember, addition and subtraction don't follow any order and are solved left to right. So in this case, we can start at the left and move right. Here we solve 51 minus 40 first. Then add the 5. 51 minus 40 is 11. This leaves us with a simplified expression of 11 plus 5. 11 plus 5 is equal to 16. In this lesson, you'll learn how to evaluate expressions using order of operations. Thanks for watching.